So hello and welcome. This is Dancing Dialogue again with Emerging Archetypes. And I am so happy to have a real emerging archetype here today. Somebody who really is here to explore this new energy, to attune, to remember, and to enjoy. Thank you very much, Robin, for being here today. Thank you, Patrick. I love being with you today. Such a special are, day. Yes, we are both very excited. And we had just said it's about having a theme that takes us somewhere that we don't know. It's walking into the unknown, as I like to say. Yes, the uncharted, the unwritten, the unseen. 100%. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, Robin, you and I have been talking for some time. It's beautiful to see where the energy takes us. So, of course, today we talk about energy. We must. <laughs> <laughs> It's a big energy day, and I have been feeling it all week, and we were just having this conversation before we were recording, that it is palpable. It is undeniable. It is there. It is present with us, and it is unlike any other energy I've ever felt at any other point in time, at least from my experience. Yes. So it's really exciting to tune into the energy, and I love having these conversations with people who are able to tune in and feel and just experience this on a whole other level. I, this is very new for me in, in some ways, right? I've always felt like I've been, you know, able to relate to energy, but not at such a huge intensity level like I have this week. Yeah, this is wonderful that you're saying that because of obviously even no matter how long we have been on this path, what is happening right now is extraordinary, totally new, totally unusual for all of us. 100%. And so it is not an accident that this is being recorded and we are now in the 11th of the 11th, 2022. And we are going into actually 1111 for sure in our time, we used to be one hour apart. Now we are together in the same time, Canada and Peru. Yeah. And so this is even more interesting how we are building up now this energy. And conversations are really just sparks of the heart. That's why I call it the heart, uh, the A with a capital. Yeah. Because the language just takes us somewhere. So the dialogue is really in general a dance. And I would say it's the energy of the heart right now. This is Without what the heart, nothing goes. And it's the energy of the heart. Thank you so much. This is maybe where we all started. So how did you experience the energy this week in your heart? Well, it was about letting go of everything that I am not. <laughs> And that's truly the process that I have been on for this entire week. And interestingly, I haven't slept for most of this week. I've been waking up between two o'clock in the morning and four o'clock in the morning. I've been getting up and meditating at that time. And I can feel the energy coming through me into the heart throughout my entire body. It is so beautiful. But the week has brought to my attention, letting go of everything I thought I was. That's the lesson that I am getting with this energy that's coming through. And so the more that I let go of who I think I am, my personality, my plans, anything, what my role is in this world, all of that stuff, in letting go of my idea of what I believe that should be, I'm showing up more as to who I truly am. So I'm dancing with this energy in letting go and surrendering to the unknown. Wow. I'm just letting life happen for me. And that I feel is what I'm supposed to receive this week. And I'm feeling that so intensely that when I'm having these thoughts, the energy becomes more intense and stronger in a supportive way. So I know that I'm on the right path. And you know, when you look at 1111, it's all about alignment. Mm -hmm. So to me, it feels true. Yes. It's a true path. It's a true energy that's guiding me and pulling me in a new direction. And while I don't know what the next thing will be, 
I've made peace and feel it in my heart that I don't need to know what that is right now. No. I just have to follow that energy and stay in alignment and surrender to the unknown. Yeah. This is so beautiful that really we are all called into the heart right now. No matter how long you have been on the path of the heart, right now you're called in deeper. And for mm -hmm. some astrologers, it's because it's the, the Scorpio energy. Right. And for astrologers who deal with very, very special kind of constellation, it's related to the Humea, which is related to the goddess of Hawaii, of fertility, of the earth. And so what you're saying is so beautiful of letting go all that we thought that we are, because actually this is not who we are. These are the external things that we have created around us and yet have brought us here. So the student at university, the professional in whatever region, the employee, the entrepreneur, anything you have ever been is the passage. Yes. And I agree with you, this energy, and this is, this 11.11 is the portal to go in empty. Yes. And so yes. this week has really allowed us to go. The, the only way to really let go is through the heart, because otherwise it's not possible. The mind goes crazy when you give really the reins into the heart until the mind finds peace. Right. And this is where you are. And this is where many of us are. Mm -hmm. Now, Patrick, you were going to pull some cards for us. Yes, we're going to have some cards today. Let's, let's um, do it. There's many different ways of doing that. I chose the map. <laughs> uh, the, the beautiful <laughs> Canadian lady. What's her name again? I, I used to work a lot, not work with her, but use a lot with her. Call it Baron Reed. Yep. Very beautiful cards. Oh. So I feel I'm bringing the energy in between you and I and this dancing dialogue today about 1111, that portal that we are meant to enter free, just with the heart, just who we truly are. So the energy is all flowing in here very nicely. And there's two ways of doing that. You're telling me which one to choose or I choose one. Which one do you prefer, Robin? I can't do it so good as Ceci. Ceci is an expert in this. Okay. Um, right there. This yes. one. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's the same one that I wanted. So that was easy. Ah, you're going to be very happy with this and all of us. We got here the gentle gardener. Okay. So I'm not going to read what, what Colette says now. Okay. I have a general idea, I get a sense. The gentle gardener is really the one who tends to what is going on, who doesn't plan, who doesn't think, who doesn't take any identity or traps or whatever into it, but just does what he does or she does. Mm -hmm. So it's about tending to that process and entering this portal totally empty. What you have done this week is what we do in the shamanic world by blowing in a little stick all of the things that we are until our name. Blow it in and put it in the fire or in a candle. Wow. I have done this process on numerous occasions and it feels for me that this week without doing it, it went on a different level. Right. So we are totally synced here. Yes. And I feel it's almost like we're dancing into this new energy, into this portal. And we don't need to think much. We don't need to plan. We're just going to be gentle gardeners. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yeah, this is really, really beautiful. And of course, it's the heart energy. I think that's here. That's really, again, the most important thing. And you have been doing some work on heart math. Mm -hmm. How do mm -hmm. you relate the work that you have done with heart math 
at that time this week where you really felt the energy goes in your heart? How does that relate? How does that help? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm setting the intention of this is where I want to go. And I'm really sitting with my heart and I'm feeling it and I'm putting my attention on my heart and I'm taking my attention off my mind. And it's a practice. It's not something that you just do. It's you have to be intentional about getting into your heart and connecting with the energy of your heart. So in relating to that, what, what's happening for me is that's becoming more familiar and more intentional, but more commonplace for me. It's this is the energy I want to be existing in and living in and working towards and keeping uh, alive at all times um, and not falling for what my mind might tell me, right? And so I'm dancing a little bit between these two worlds, if you will. Yes. Um, I'm sure you've seen that happening online. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> on my public profile because I, it, it's easy to get caught up in what's going on in the world. And you can lose your heart in that. You can get you know, very much caught up in the mind. Yes. Start thinking about, oh, this is going to happen or that could happen. And I need to fight this or fight that. Or I need to be an advocate or whatever it is. But when you let go of all of that and you just go inside and sit with your heart, it's like you don't have to do anything but that. Yes. And it is interesting what you're saying now. And it's, it's incredibly beautiful. It's like, it's like an angel choir in my ear. I've been longing to hear that from others for many years, since 2012 to be precise. So to hear that now from you is really like, it's here. You are taking it out into the world. And yeah. today, the newsletter that I posted on LinkedIn on consciousness architecture is picking up on that as well, that we are detaching, unplugging, mm -hmm. letting go of the fight and the flight and the fortify and the fear and the engagement that actually has no sense and it's so freeing it's just so freeing it's it's a feeling that and it's funny because now that i'm sort of stepping into this way of being i'll say the other way makes absolutely no sense in fact it's a cosmic joke <laughs> it is so nice that you're mentioning the cosmic joke i was introduced to the cosmic, the cosmic joke because all you have to do and i'm making it sound simple and it's not but all you have to do is let go of all that you are not exactly and yesterday i had a beautiful dialogue with my friend olaf ward in iceland and i mentioned that briefly with you and we got into the wholeness of being so through the heart, we can enter the wholeness of being. And it's number 12, which is interesting because, of course, 11 comes before 12. So the 11-11 portal actually takes us into the wholeness. So this is very interesting for me because when you step into that, there's nothing missing anymore. No. Separation is gone. Yes. You are connected in your own wholeness and to the infinite wholeness of everything. It's wonderful. It's, it's beautiful. Yes. And this is where you can disidentify and let go of the traps. I call it now entrapment. Because it's not yes. just a trap. It's an entrapment. Yes. It's not just entangled. It's entanglement. Mm-hmm. It's not just mental slavery, as my dear friend Bob Marley used to say, it's enslavement. And when we come into the heart, it's all gone. It's so true. It's amazing. It's it is amazing. absolutely amazing. So I really feel, and we are not so far now from 11.11, so 11.11 at 11.11, we are roughly... 11 and 4, 15 minutes away. So I'm sure we will 
finalize our dialogue at 11, 11 and bring it to a nice crescendo. Mm -hmm. I feel this is a portal really to come into our wholeness through the heart. So Patrick, let me ask you, what do you, Please. what do you plan to do today? How, what rituals or what practices or what do you recommend, you know, someone like me do today? What, what would be your suggestion recommendation? Yeah, in general, I feel it's really very important that we consciously move through a portal. Okay. So the 11 stands for I am, the, the double I. So the enlightened I, the true I am. And I feel a ceremony can be with fire, a candle, whatever is your practice. And I feel it's a meditative state, of course, where you allow yourself to walk through that portal, through the heart, through the I am, into your wholeness. I think this would be the nicest ceremony that anyone could have today. Should you have been struggling with the energies, you are flying high, but many people are also struggling. And, and in some ways, there's also a struggle in letting go as much as you have. Mm -hmm. going into the lower world, in a way, what the shamans call that. The lower world is not the past. It is the unknown, the unseen that has been cooking, suppressed, unknown for a long time. And so when that comes up, it's not always joy. Mm -hmm. So those of us who are struggling with this high energy coming into the heart and letting go, maybe before going through the portal, a very nice thing would be to let go the things that have been hidden, suppressed, the wounds, the pain. So of course, this is a question that always comes up. And I get this all the time from people as well. How do you let go? How do you do that? It is something that you actually don't do. I feel that's the main point. Letting go is, is can be an intention. I say, as I said, the good one is with blowing in a stick, putting in a candle or in the fire. I don't need to be this and that and the other anymore. Symbolic, I think letting go is the easiest when we take metaphors and symbolic ways. Mm -hmm. But always, if you are not really ready to let go, it doesn't do anything. Right. And... In spiral dynamics, one of my favorite consciousness theories, which is not necessarily spiritual, spiritual, but it was the father also of the integral theory. They talk about readiness. Mm -hmm. And I feel letting go is a matter of readiness. You cannot just say, I do that now, I'm pushing it. You need to feel ready and nobody can tell you when you're ready. You only know that. Right. And so a day like today, even if you're ready, you could be ready for a little bit. Maybe you don't need to let go everything, but you mm -hmm. can let go what you're ready for. That's a great point. It doesn't have to be everything. No. I think that's important to acknowledge. Yeah. Yes. So I feel this is really important that we don't push ourselves, that we don't make believe, that we don't go into, there's also a spiritual la-la land, as we are aware. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> I feel, tune into your heart, find out what am I really to let go, what I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Really and truly, what can I let go? Symbolically working with fire, blowing in a stick, throwing something in a water. I mean, whatever feels appropriate. I feel people have, many people already have their own ways. But what I feel is important to come into the heart and really ask and inquire, what am I ready to let go? I love that. So we are going into this portal of the 11.11 and the potential of that 12 and wholeness as free as we can. Mm -hmm. The energy is here anyway. 
yeah. we are all whole. It's just that we are not connected and not not fully aware of it. Right. But when we take one conscious step, I feel ceremony is very, very important. Yes. Yeah, I have felt that this week as well, especially today. So what is your way of celebrating, of bringing on this, this new energy? So I have a sound bowl here, like musical instruments, huh? right? I hang pan. Um, candles, Palo Santo. I love the smell of Palo Santo. Um, pulling cards, just like what we did here. Yes. Um, I mean, this is new for me. This is creating a new ceremony. Um, I've never done this before. So I'm just going with naturally what I'm drawn to. I'm pulling it all together. And tonight we'll have a ceremony and see what happens. Let go of, let go of, out, uh, let go of any outcome. Yes, I think this is important. In the place of wholeness, in the place of wonder, and most of the universe and this earth and who we are in all forms, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, is actually wonder. We know less than 10%. What I love really that and I forgot because music is such a big part of my life, you know, um, yeah. music as you can see is always here and what you can't see is of course the drums so Ceci is more on the drums and you, you can see her monochord yes sound in any form is wonderful if people don't play an instrument of their own play the music that you like mm -hmm. but should people be interested now I left all my easy flutes downstairs Oops. ah I'm lucky Okay, I I want to encourage maybe some people today if they want to try and play a flute. One of the easiest instruments to play, and maybe this is something that people can choose after they go into the portal, is drums. You need to find your rhythm and your beat, or these kind of Native American flutes, they are called. Some of them come with six holes. And some of them come with five holes. Okay. And they are relatively easy to play. They are also pentatonic instruments. So they have five notes and not eight. Meaning to be out of harmony is very difficult. Okay. It always harmonizes. Wonderful. So if somebody should be called into playing, these Floats are really easy to play. Of course, I played the clarinet before, easier for me. But the main thing is that the holes are covered very well. So if people should choose to play, and it's easy to get, I, I know in Canada and the United States and many places of the world, this is, by the way, my first one that was made in Australia. So they come from everywhere. So important is that all the holes are really well closed so that no sound can ex escape. The blowing is very easy. You literally just blow in. The lower notes get less power and the higher notes you can blow more. So playing an instrument on your own or singing, chanting, mm -hmm. phoning is also something very beautiful. And it's not written really. Right. So Patrick, would you play something for? I thought you didn't ask me. <laughs> yes, I will. I will. I will. I will. So <laughs> let's let. So when when I play, I also go into my heart. Okay. Every sound comes once, never again. And so as I'm going in my heart, I'm allowing the flute. I become an instrument with my flute to allow all of us to open up and find ways of expression through sound and music. How's that? Beautiful. Into the 1111 portal. Thank you. 
wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I feel it's a good time for many of us who have been thinking about making music in whatever form and energy, because music is not really formed to actually do it. And we don't need to be professional musicians. We don't have to study music for 10 years. Although it was useful for me to, to do that, but now <laughs> I don't even read the notes, right? So it is very, very interesting. And I feel sound is a very important part of this new portal. I would agree. So important. And being yeah. drawn to that at this time. You know, they say that many sacred places were actually built with sound. Have you heard about that? No. In the ancient times, when people were fully connected, or they came from the stars or whatever theory we may follow, it's not about the theory. They were actually able to create sound that would create structure. So the sound architect and the consciousness architect is in a way this line, this story that through consciousness and sound you are creating. Wow. But in any case, sound does create something. Yeah, the vibration, I mean, you feel it in your body, in your soul. It's undeniable. So I'm very curious how your sound is going to be tonight with your drums and everything. Whatever it's supposed to be. Exactly. <laughs> There's no plan. No, there is no plan. There is just being in the moment and allowing things to flow. Mm -hmm. So this energy is really taking us out of old structures and systems that are already broken. Yes, I feel that. And so it's important that we invite people, in case they haven't heard it, to step through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Without imagining the outcome. This yeah. is a big challenge. This is a very big challenge for all of us. Yeah. It's so, it's so beautiful to be with you in this space of the heart. As this dialogue is taking its place, even through silence. Yeah, we're living in miraculous times. Uh -huh. I can feel that. And the silence is also part of a dialogue. Yeah. And while there's some words may be spoken behind the words, what is really being transmuted like right now is silence. So this is very beautiful. It is. What means silence to you, Robin? It's peace. It's oneness, it's wholeness, it's who we are fundamentally. It is everything that we've talked about in this dancing dialogue. And sometimes the words allow us to come into silence. And we knew already that this dancing dialogue is gonna be different, right? <laughs> Yeah, because when we started, we were it was going to be a different, totally different topic. Exactly. We were talking right. about resistance and that is already gone. Yeah. So why talk about something that's gone? Exactly. Why, why not making space for something that is here right now? That's it. And I'm really feeling the portal energy right now because it is right now 11-11. Right. Me and I'm feeling too. very strongly that it is a good time now to just let again everything go and go together through that portal of 11-11. Yeah. 
I already have something in my hand. And let us let the flow take us through this portal, stripping all away to go through this I am into the wholeness and whatever is coming from here. All right. How beautiful is it to walk with you through that beautiful portal? Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And although maybe people listen to this later and see it later, it doesn't matter. Time doesn't really matter as much as we often feel. Mm -hmm. Yes, walking through the portal of 1111, a whole new energy, a whole new world. And really coming into connecting, collaborating. It's all right here in the heart. It's all there. Thank you so much, Patrick. That was amazing. It was amazing. Yes. So we're going to do this again. Of course. Yes. And for today, thank you so much for walking through this beautiful 1111 portal with me. For thank dancing you. in this dialogue. For making sure that this is all about this energy of this week and this beautiful portal. Thank you. So thank you so much. And of course, we are grateful for all the people who are putting their ideas here, making beautiful comments so that we can start growing as a community in dancing dialogue of emerging archetypes from the heart. All right. Take care. Yeah. I see you soon. Okay. Bye, Patrick. Bye.